Hello everyone, I am Vikram B. Maduri here. Welcome to Jade Soft Tech. And in this session, uh, we are going to discuss a couple of interview questions and answers based on SAP FIOI. Okay, so let's start uh, with the couple of interview questions which, uh, which are generally asked in most of the interviews. What is SAP Fiori? We'll start with SAP UI5. UI5 is client side and HTML5 rendering framework or library and SAP Fiori is collection of and released as waves of applications which are completely based on SAP UI5 framework. It means we can create applications using SAP UI5 framework and SAP Fiori is the final product which you can see on the screen. That's the application. Now, what are SAP Fiori Launchpad key values? The key values for SAP Fiori Launchpad are simple, intuitive, easy, and coherent user experience, role based, simplified role based navigation and business function access, contextual, real time contextual and personalized access, responsive consumption. Uh, 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 across devices, versions and channels with a single user experience, multi-platform, plan to be running on multiple platforms, a app available today, an SAP portal, SAP HANA cloud plat portal and HANA. Now, what are the differences between SAP UI5 and Fiori? There are a lot of differences. SAP Fiori is a collection of standard applications based on SAP UI5 library provided by SAP. SAP Fiori applications share some standard design guidelines and way in which these applications are developed. Currently, there are more than 500 Fiori applications which are available freely in the platform. What is a Fiori Launchpad and explain it? As we know, there are more than 500 Fiori applications. SAP has provided a shell or single point place where uh, we can access all these applications. This serves as a home page for all the Fiori applications provided too. This shows tile-based UI where uh, every user interface redirects to assign Fiori application. This launchpad is fully customizable according to your needs like theming and all. Now, what are the steps required to configure SAP Fiori transactional apps? Configuring SAP Web Dispatcher specifies routing rules to define which URL is forwarded to which system is done for both transactional applications and fact sheets. So only seats to be configured for fact sheets. If we just configure transactional apps, we can skip the step two. Step 3 is configuring the front-end server and this is done for both transactional apps and fact sheets. At high level, we need to configure SAP Netweaver Gateway, the central user interface, add-ons, launchpad con configurations, product specific add-ons, etc. Step 4 is configuring the back-end server and this is done for both transactional apps and fact sheets. Viewing from a high level, roles, users and authorizations and transactional apps can run on any database whereas the fact sheets must run on SAP HANA only remember this so transactional apps can run on any database whereas fact sheets can run only on SAP HANA database explain SAP Netweaver Gateway Central Hub development in SAP Fiori in SAP Netweaver Gateway Central Hub de 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 deployment UI layer and SAP Netweaver Gateway is contained in ABAP end in server. The ABAP backend server contains business logic and backend in data. Separating business logic and backend data from UI layer has below advantages. Single point of maintenance for UI issues such as browser support and updated version of SAP UI libraries. Central place for theming and branding SAP Fiori apps. Routing and composition of multiple backend systems in supported single point of access to backend systems and enhanced security because of no direct access to backend system SAP recommends central hub deployment especially for productive environment separate Netweaver gateway system is required 
Now, what are the different authentication methods that can be configured in SAP Fiori for central and external communication? By implementing SAP single sign-on, your apps become automatically available after just one initial user authentication at the user's window desktop with no need for further logon procedures. Kerberos technology is the method of choice in intranet scenarios for SSO. It simply reuses your window domain authentication for single sign-on. Now, X509 certificates provide a viable option for creating a secured SSO infrastructure. If you're considering extending single sign-on to Xtronet or cross-company scenarios. Explain SAP NetWeaver Gateway Embedded Hub Develop Deployment in SAP Fiori. In Embedded Hub Deployment, as NetWeaver Gateway is deployed on same server as the business suite. So multiple business suite systems requires gateways to be configured multiple times. It is not recommended by SAP especially for customers with multiple backends. No additional separate NetWeaver Gateway system is required. It is usually used for sandbox purpose only. What are the different configuration steps in SAP Fiori? Configurations of SAP Fiori apps are divided into two parts, configuration of transactional apps and fact sheets, configuration of analytical apps. Before configuring anything, the complete infrastructure for SAP Fiori apps must be installed. Once that is completed, there will be activities to configure backend, backend frontend service. So as we already discussed, this is similar to what we have discussed in the previous one. What are the different configuration steps in SAP Fiori? Configurations of SAP Fiori apps are divided into two parts. Configuration of transaction apps and fact sheets. Configuration of analytical apps as well. So before configuring anything, the complete infrastructure of SAP Fiori apps must be installed. And once that is completed, there will be activities to configure on backend and the frontend servers. What are the components of SAP HANA Extended Services? The SAP HANA Extended Services engine contains two components. HANA Live App Content and smart business components with KPI modeler. Within HANA live app com content, the VDM reuse content exists. Now what is MVC? The model view controller pattern defines domain modeling, GUI of application and input and actions based on devices. So MVC approach defines in SAP UI5 as following points, the model, bridge between view and data of the apps and it accepts the requests from view and response accordingly. It doesn't depend on any of the classes. View, it manages the display of information, GUI of application and it depends on modeler. The controller, it concludes the input given by devices and communicates to model view to take proper action it also depends on model, view and controller have one is to one re relationship. Controller entertains user requests received from view. How can you get to know what device is touch screen or not? So SAP UI5 library provides a special API called sap.ui.device which can be used to for device and its feature detection. This API has a flag sap.ui.device.touch which returns true if device is a touch screen, otherwise false. How can you get the web browser of the client on which SAP Fiori application is running? So SAP UI5 library provides a special API sap.ui.device which can be used for device and its features detection this api provides flags like chrome 
Firefox, Mozilla, Edge, etc. in sap.ui.device. Browser API which returns Boolean values. What is the use of OData protocol? OData is a protocol used to exchange data on web and was originally developed by Microsoft. It is based on Atom Publishing and Atom Syndication standards, which in turn are based on XML and uh, HTTPS. The Atom Publishing format doesn't specify how data should be encoded within a feed. Therefore, it fails to provide self-describing messages and fails to be fully restful. OData extends Atom by providing a metadata description of message. OData provides definition for simple types, complex types, association as well as navigation path between entries, custom behavior. OData also adds an alternative representation of data in the format of JSON. What are the components that are configured in SAP Frontend Server? Configure a BAP Frontend Server includes Configure SAP Netweaver Gateway, Configure the Central UI Add-on, Configure SAP Fiori Launchpad. What are the Fiori design principles? There are five design principles we need to keep in mind while designing SAP Fiori applications. First, the role-based and delightful, simple, responsive and coherent. How data flow happens in SAP Fiori Launchpad explain the steps. So we have the sequence of steps in which the data flow happens in SAP Fiori Launchpad. We have LPD underscore cast Launchpad Designer, add a catalog and a group, target mapping, semantic object to action, static dynamic launcher, and we have something called PFCG where we have the catalog and group. How do you identify a workflow template in SAP Fiori? Workflow templates are prefixed with WS. So anything which starts with WS are all workflow templates in SAP Fiori. What are the different RFC authorization objects in SAP Fiori? So authorization objects S underscore RFC underscore ACL. S underscore RFC ACL. Definition authorization check for RFC users, particularly for trusted systems. Define fields. This authorization object contains the following fields RFC underscore SYS ID hyphen ID of the calling system or the domain of the satellite system RFC underscore client client of the calling system RFC underscore user ID of the calling user RFC underscore EQ user flag that indicates whether the user can be called by a user within the same ID Y is equal to yes N is equal to no RFC underscore T code calling transaction code RFC underscore info. So the different RFC authorization objects in SAP Fiori are the definition part, define fields, and in this we have definition authorization check of RFC users, particularly for trusted systems. Define fields like RFC underscore client, client for the calling system, RFC underscore user hyphen ID, which is for of the calling system, RFC underscore EQ user. RFC underscore T code, RFC underscore info and ACTV. What is the use of defining workflow scenarios in the workflow engine? So workflow scenarios aggregates one or more workflow tasks in workflow engine and is represented by a single entry in the customer consumer application, the service slash IPGW task processing is provided in the standard so these are the 20 main questions in SAP Fiori and from here we are going to continue in the next part 2 of the SAP Fiori frequently asked questions that would be added in the part 2 if you have liked our video do click on the like button and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel do subscribe to our channel youtube.com slash tech and contact us at training at richjsft.com for our any kind of trainings and jobs at richjsft.com for any kind of jobs that you are looking for. Thank you. Have a great day.